This is question 14 from a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're told that there are 20 counters in a bag, 8 of the counters are yellow, 12 of the counters are green. Then we're told that as if takes at random 2 of the counters. Then we're asked to work out the probability that the two counters are different colours. Now, because what we're talking about here is two events, that he takes two of the counters, we're going to need to draw a probability tree diagram. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to lay out all of the possibilities that could potentially happen. Now, the first thing to kind of mention the first thing to mention here is that if he takes two counters at the same time, that's the same as if he were to take one counter and not replace it, then take another one. OK, and that's important for our calculations. So here we've got uh, eight of the counters are yellow. So we'll call that bit there yellow. Twelve of the counters are green. OK, the probability he takes a yellow is eight over 20. And the probability he takes a green is 12 over 20. And that's on his first pick. So we could either choose a yellow on his first pick and then a green or, or a green on his first pick. And there are those are the probabilities. Now on his second pick, OK, what it says here, as it takes at random two of the counters, on his second pick, and again, if you think about it like choosing one counter, then choosing another without replacing, that means that on his second pick, there are going to be fewer yellow counters or green counters, depending on what he selected first. So if he chose a yellow counter first, that means that on his second pick, he's only going to have seven counters left in the bag. And that means that there are 17 counters out of 19 in total, because he's already taken one out. Here, while there are still 12 green counters in the bag, out of the 19 that are left in there. Down here, what we can see is that he's chosen a green counter first, which means that there would still be eight yellow counters in the bag out of, not eight out of 20, eight out of 19. And then here, what we could say is that that would be 11 out of 19, because he's already selected a green counter so that means there is there will be one fewer green counters left in the bag, and there is one fewer count. Uh, num the number of counters is one fewer in total. So we're asked to work out the probability that the two counters are different colours. Well, that could happen in one of two ways. He could choose a yellow and then a green, or he could choose a green then a yellow. The probability of this happening would be eight over twenty multiplied by 12 over 19. The probability of this one happening would be 12 over 20 multiplied by 8 over 19. So 12 over 20 times by 8 over 19. OK, so our probabilities here, 8 times 12 is going to give us 96. So that one there is going to be 96 over uh, 380. Um, run out of space. So that gives us 96 over 380. This one here would also give us 96 out of 380. And so our answer would be these two answers added together because either of them could happen. So you could choose a yellow, then a green, or you could choose a green, then a yellow. So we add our two probabilities together. And so 96 over 380 plus 96 over 380. And that's going to give us an answer of uh, 192 over 380. Um, and just check in, it doesn't ask us, ask us to give this in its simplest form, so we're just going to leave it as that, as our final answer. So 192 over 380.